Welcome, Buck Don't Know Shit. It is getting summertime here in Texas. It's a pretty day. Yeah, it's a beautiful day, actually. Getting kind of warm, though. I think it's uh, it's probably 90 now, something like that. Not stupid hot, but it's warming up. So yeah, I got some projects going on. Had a deep freeze go out, cleaning up over there. Had some shrimp that uh, yeah, doesn't smell real good. Cleaning that up. I also got the big project that I've been putting off forever because I knew this was gonna happen. Yeah, yeah, that escalated quickly. That. Uh, was my light pole there. Tore the uh, whole brick column apart because the wire that I needed to replace, it was grouted in through every layer of brick. I was thinking maybe take a layer or two off and uh, there'd be hollow somehow in there. That's kind of what I was thinking. It's kind of how I would have built it. Uh, not that I'm a brick layer, but I, th I think I would have left a hollow void in the middle, save on brick, give it place to run wire and do things like that if you need to. Um, but anyway, the wire was grouted in through 10 layers of brick, so there was no pulling it out. It had to be replaced unless you ran a wire on the outside, which would look like So didn't do that, although I thought about it. Uh, <laughs> thought about solar panels, thought about a few things. Anyway, I'm gonna fix it the right way. I got a guy coming tomorrow. I'm not gonna do the brick job. Anyway, so yeah, the, the brick job had to tear it all the way down to the base, which concrete slab had to chip the old conduit out using my air chisel and chip up. And it, it, the old conduit was like all the way to the edge, stuck out about an inch, wasn't even tall enough to like put a coupling on. Plus it wasn't in the center, um, nowhere near the center. So uh, yeah. I had to chip a little channel in the concrete, you know, to get some conduit down. And yeah, it's a, uh, the wire is run. I'm just waiting. I have a guy coming tomorrow, kind of a guy we knew that did brick and we'll see, hopefully it works out. He's really cheap. So yeah, you know how that goes. Uh, I'm on, I, he's actually so cheap that I'm gonna pay him more than he has to do it for. I feel bad. You know, anyway, what he asked wasn't enough money. Although I have all the brick and material, just his labor, and he says he can do it in a few hours. I'll let y'all know how that project goes. Right now, that that was a bitch. Chipping all that concrete uh, or mortar mix off all those bricks, trying to save the brick. If I'd have done it all with sledgehammer, it would have gone a lot faster. You can't really save the brick that way. I was trying to save as much brick as possible which I did a pretty good job. Just took a long time. It was a lot of work and still not done. Still got a back of my trucks full of uh, mortar mix, squatting pretty low, you know, old, old mortar. Yeah, so I gotta go unload that. And then when the base gets built, I gotta put healthy bolts in it and set the light pole back on, run the wire up to the light. That's no big deal. All that will, won't take long, but, Today, we are going to run the fuel line from the gas tank to the front. I know I was talking about doing stainless before and I had the stainless, but that shit's hard to bend. So I bought my cop uh, that is for fuel line, 3 8 uh, It's gonna be a lot easier to handle for me and it's a line that's under the car. It is still anti-corrosive. Yeah, it's not silver and shiny like stainless, but who who sees the fuel line? You do not see the fuel line. Yeah. We're not gonna worry about it. We are going to run the NICOP. So we'll run the fuel line. I'm gonna at least get it to the engine compartment. I don't know that I will go all the way to the fuel pump because I do plan on taking that off, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the transmission. I've talked about that a few times, just basically uh, changing the rear seal because it looked like it was leaking before. 
going to take the pan off, drain it, of course, uh, change the filter, put a new gasket on it, and uh, just kind of freshen up the transmission. That's the basic gist of that. So get that done, and then I'm putting the drive shaft in. And then I will have pretty much the drivetrain up to the transmission done, ready to go, right? And then it's a matter of getting some spark to everything, kind of putting stuff back in where we can at least steer the car and drive the car a little bit, you know, so a front seat, steering wheel, ignition, things like that. Uh, basically get the car kind of wired. I guess I will be putting the dash back in when I do that. Um, haven't decided if I'm gonna go back. I know the AC plenum and heater box and all that, you need to kind of get in before the dash, but I'm not afraid to pull the dash back out. Uh, it, it, a few bolts, it's not that hard, especially if you have somebody to help you kind of hold the other end of it. Um, and I'm not gonna have all the trim and everything on it. Um, I do plan on getting the car fully functional before I start going back in with center console and door panels and you know back seat and all that stuff probably just going to keep driver's seat dash steering wheel and get the car running and then kind of kind of uh maybe go back and start putting stuff in that uh i say all that i really don't know i'm i'm kind of just fucking talking shit really i don't know how i'm gonna do it i'm still debating on what i'm gonna do with this engine that guy. Uh, I want to clean this all up. Ah, one project I've got, I've added to my list. So, gonna rebuild the steering gearbox. I did get a kit for it. So, that means I'm gonna be removing the master cylinder, the brake booster, the lines that I have attached to those, get it all out of the way. While that's easy in there, I did have a commenter mention, hey, why, you know, right now would be a good time to do that. It was a video before I'd installed the brake booster and everything. And uh, he's right. It is a good time to do that. It is the time to do it. So that's what I'm going to be doing in the next couple of days. Fuel line, transmission, drive shaft, steering box. So, and then get the steering box done, put the brake stuff back together. And then, whew, I don't know where I'm, I don't know. That's, uh, I think after that, I gotta start doing electrical stuff um, and engine stuff and maybe a little of both. I don't know. I don't know. That's, uh, yeah. A lot of stuff that I don't know about. That's what I'll be doing. Yeah, so anyway, that's where I'm at on things. That's where I'm at. I'm just rambling, just talking. I've been home three days. I'm not gonna be home quite as long this time, but I'm not gonna be gone as long next time either. So uh, kind of feel a little rushed. Have some stuff to do next week. I'm gonna be out basically three days. What's up, Rowdy? Broke. 